So we know that diabetes as a disease is hugely on the rise. We're talking about type 2 diabetes here. And that's a lifestyle disease. It's estimated that 90% of cases of type 2 diabetes could be prevented by people being physically active and not putting on weight. So in, in the normal healthy population, what we know is that regular, moderate intensity physical activity, as in health, the, the government guidelines, will present, prevent type 2 diabetes. Your risk is lowered by somewhere between 10 to 40 percent. But better than that, you can actually do a whole range of different activities. Active commuting has been shown to reduce diabetes risk. Vigorous activity has been shown to reduce diabetes risk. So you have a lot to choose from if you don't have anything wrong with you. If you have already developed diabetes, then it's a slightly different story. The later evidence has compared the effect of um, aerobic exercise, resistance exercise, and the two combined when delivered by someone uh, as an exercise promoter. And what we found is that both of those types of, all, both of, those types of exercise and, all com and both combined are equally efficient at improving your glucose handling, your glycemic control if you have diabetes. Um, what is less clear is whether a program of simple home-based walking is, is sufficiently hard enough or enough or, or long enough to produce uh, improvements in diabetes. But any way that you look at it for both the prevention and treatment of diabetes, then, then physical activity has a really important role to play.